Hello, my name is Rachel from Rachel by Ceramics and tonight I'm going to show you a little idea that I had to paint on china using some of my sponges. So what I've got here is just a plain white china plate that's already been fired. I'm going to use one stroke so you could use EZs or you could use my creative colours or any, anybody's one stroke and it would work. And when you've uh, finished you just let it dry and then you fire it to an 06 and the colour will burn into the pot there's no need to, to put any additional glaze on so here we go away we go let's crack on this is um, the little poppy sponge it comes on a very large sponge uh, this this size here this is the back of a large sponge so it comes with three poppy leaves and I've actually divided it up and this is the smaller one so I'm going to create a grape leaf with this by uh, pressing it on many times but first of all I'm going to do some grapes and then I'm going to do the leaves uh, with the other projects that we've done before we uh, I've done this one we've actually sprayed the plate with um, um, hairspray which helps it adhere to the pot it helps it not slide but with this one i spattered it black showing you how to do that in a previous um video and then decided i don't want black spots so i've wiped it off and i think it's nearly taken the hairspray off but i think it's it's there a little bit so it should be fine and it just helps it not to slide so i'm going to use um different size sponges so these these two are one of five different round sponges that we have on six and then we also have these little dowels which are a different type of sponge but work really well which come in three sizes and these two are suitable the littlest one is a bit small for a grape so i'm going to use that to create the grapes so all i'm going to do is load up with my color that i've put out here which is one stroke and this is a dark purple so this is my own purple here and then because I haven't got a burgundy this one here is a Duncan EZ and I'm just putting the edge of the sponge into the Duncan EZ and you can see then I've got kind of a blend on my sponge of two colours and gently I'm going to pop on we'll start at the top so the grapes think of a grape as it comes to a point at the end and it, then it filters out of the top so we start at the top and pop with the dark to the bottom just touch the plate and you've got a, uh, a little grape there pop, pop it slightly overlap it and then you could go to another color put a little bit of blue in and overlap it now there might be a little bit see-through but to me that adds to the charm of the piece it's not I'm not creating something really really solid if you want it to be really solid you go on and you do a second coat even though it's a one straight you could do a thin second coat when it's dry so you build these up slightly overlapping as you can see i've done numerous um presses on the same piece and then i'm going to switch to a different slightly different size this one's a little bit smaller and work my way down going into the different purples so it's a little bit smaller a little bit blue in there so need to be a bit rounder at the top so come out a little bit and bring it down to the bottom and then change to I've got a little a tiny one. Oh, there he is so I'm going to do that one at the bottom I don't know if you can hear the rain but it's um, we have a we have what four large windows in the in the roof and it's very noisy when it rains been raining all day today all day hopefully we're gonna get the summer back soon it's like april showers it is it's awful in july coming down 
and then switch to the very smallest one at the bottom. Oh, they're probably, it's probably actually a tad small, that I think. So what I'll do is I'll press on less. And put a bit of blue in with this one. So I'm just going to go over them again, just blending them a bit. And then I'm going to start to do some leaves. So we'll have the leaf coming over here. So put, put a little bit of light on the dark green, blend it on the sponge. And we'll have, so I'm going to put the leaf like this. And what I'm aiming for is this is the outside of the leaf. So the next one goes right next to it, right next to it, and right next to it. I've not done this before. It was just something that came to me. And I thought, oh, what about making a grape leaf like that? Well, I think that looks quite cool. Just blend it in. What do you think, Liz? Yeah, it looks nice. Doesn't look bad, does it? Not bad at all. And we'll put one here. Now, the two leaves that I get mixed up with. The oak. The sycamore and the oak. Indeed, you do. <laughs> and I think that's more like, is it a sycamore? It's like a maple. What is it? This. The, the, this leaf is the poppy. No, I know that's the poppy. <laughs> I'm not that mad. Oh, uh, the sycamore I mean? looks like a maple leaf. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, so that's kind of the type of shape of a yeah. maple leaf, isn't it? It's kind of flat. Yeah. You probably could have used that, but I think this one works better. No, that's, that's, yeah. Thank you. And you could don't load the colour and let it fade off like that. And then you would get a brush to uh, bring it all together. So I oh, would need a ch bit no. chunkier, Chunky maybe one. this one. We'll put a little bit of green and give this a stem. A little bit of a wiggle coming down and put some bits of green where they might be joined in. Then bring stems to these. And put some little little tendril curls. So when you bring your brush round, you pull it along and give it a little wiggle as you curve. Put more pressure on. The one stroke that I can do. No matter how much I try, <laughs> I end up with a big blob. <laughs> You've got to dance the brush, look. So you, you like this. So you put your finger very upright and you don't put any pressure on. But then as you come around the corner, put the pressure on, I've exaggerated a bit, and then take the pressure off. On, off, on, off. And just get you just practice going like that. Mm. You make it look so easy. <laughs> Been doing it just a little while. It's the only thing that's ever captured my imagination for any length of time. Now this looks a little bit um not quite right to me. There's, there's like this branch going here. So I think we'll probably put some more, another another little bunch of grapes, oops, over here. Just a few. branch into that, one into that, this isn't quite the right shape, I, don't, I think it needs to be a bit tubbier at the top,
How's that looking? Better. Mm-hmm. Better. And then you don't want to fill the plate. That is very simple. It, it's a nice, easy piece for a beginner. And then you could just spatter it a little bit if you wanted to do. So this is just a household brush that you would use for washing up, probably. Where did I say I bought it from? Uh, tourist information tourist in York. In York. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Strange thing to buy, but here you go. And then just a little bit of a spatter. Just oh, finish it off. There. Yeah, I think I think spattering looks pretty cool. I really like that. There we go. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Of course, you could have done that on bisque and you could have done it on clay. And now we've done it on china and you just need to fire this to 06 and it'd be finished and it would be dishwasher proof, food safe, um, even probably go in the oven, I would say, and definitely in the microwave. So I hope you'd like, subscribe and comment at the bottom what you'd like to see next. And thanks for watching.